Hey there everybody, Groovy here, coming at you from the Grindhouse, and today, we're gonna be kicking off 2022 the only way that we know how. That's right, baby, by checking out a new slice of MCU hotness straight off of the internet presses. That's right, baby, heading over to Disney Plus sometime soon, we're gonna be checking out the first trailer for the new series, Moon Knight. Now, Moon Knight is an interesting character. He was created all the way back in 1975 by Doug Mensch and Don Perlin, I believe it is. Not Marv Wolfman, I'm pretty sure about that. Marv Wolfman, not a literal Wolfman, unfortunately. But anyway, this series starring Oscar Isaacs and Ethan Hawke is heading over to Disney Plus, and it should prove to be interesting because Moon Knight himself is kind of an interesting character. So let's take a quick look at this new trailer and let's see how things are shaping up for Mark Spector slash Jake Lockley slash Stephen Grant slash the Fist of Conchu slash Mr. Knight or however many of the personalities that they decide to try to adapt into the character. But let's take a look and let's see how things are shaping up. All right, we got our headphones on. Let's roll this bad boy and go. Uh-huh. Hello and welcome to staying awake. I'm a sleeping disorder. I can't tell the difference huh. between my waking life. Interesting and accent. And welcome to Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> kind of giving me a little bit of a Doctor Sleep vibe from that first Doctor Sleep trailer. I'm losing it. We'll catch you. Your blood is useless. Steve. Steve. I thought Steve was his billionaire personality. Whoa. Thank you. Okay. Hope you find it. Thanks. Huh. Whoa. Yeah. Oh my god, you're alive. What's wrong with you, Mark? Mark? Uh, Why yeah. Did you call me Mark? That must be very difficult. Arthur Harrow? In your head. Shut up! There's chaos in you. Oh! 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 That's bad! Up with Anubis? Whew. Original steering steering in March. Hmm. Woo! All right, so that trailer was a little bit different. That did look pretty good though, I'm not gonna lie. I like me some Oscar Isaacs. He's been in a lot of stuff that I've just really enjoyed. If you guys had seen my Dune review, you would know that I just kind of generally like Oscar Isaacs. I hope that he does a great job playing Solid Snake in that Metal Gear Solid movie if that ever gets off the ground, but I digest. I'm also a big fan of Ethan Hawke. Ethan Hawke does a lot of weird random stuff. You know what I mean? Like he's kind of seems to me like a little bit of a Christian Bale. If Christian Christian Bale wasn't such a flaring asshole. <laughs> but let's move on to this story. I always assumed, isn't like, wasn't that the, the separation of Mark Spector's personalities? Mark Spector was the actual soldier, right? He was the one trained and who met Khonshu. And then Stephen Grant was like his billionaire playboy personality, kind of like Bruce Wayne. And then I think it was Jake Lockley or John Lockley or something like that. He was like a cab driver who was like the street level guy who got into the ins and outs. Kind of like, uh, uh, oh, what is it? Like Batman has like his, uh, Matches Malone kind of persona, right? Like that's Batman, right? Anyway. <laughs> Right? But it seems like in this, like, Stephen Grant, the Stephen Grant personality is like a an assistant researcher for, like, an Egyptologist or something like that, which does kind of make, like, a little bit more sense, but 
that's going to be the question. The question is whether or not they're going to bring in the elements of his resurrections and stuff like that. Because unlike some MCU series that are coming out based on characters like Miss Marvel, Moon Knight actually does have a long publication history, but that also brings in a lot of different elements of the character, which have kind of been rolled together to make the character more interesting as time goes on. Because I believe it was kind of like one of those things as different writers took over the characters as they had different volumes come out where they would publish a volume of stories and then stop for a little while, then publish more and then stop. I believe those different volumes focused more on the different characters at first, right? kind of portraying Moon Knight, which is kind of where that whole multi-faceted, multi-personality thing kind of comes from. But I don't know, man. I know in modern times that they all definitely are kind of just different personalities of Mark Spector, but there's all sorts of kind of different things going on in his head. Like I said, there's that Mr. Knight personality that wears the suit and has the mask, you know, that's a more modern one. But over the years, you know, you have different writers come in, do their takes on the character. I feel like, I guess they eventually just rolled them together and said that they were all just kind of different personalities. I personally was more interested in Moon Knight as a kid because A, he is like Marvel's Batman, but he also ran in with the Midnight Suns. Like his comics and stuff like that kind of dealt with the supernatural and stuff like that, which I didn't fully understand as a kid, just picking up random comic books in the 90s. But I kind of liked it. I kind of liked the vibe and I kind of liked that he ran with that whole Ghost Rider Midnight Suns crew. I always thought that was cool. And even in this trailer, you can see, unless that's a fake out or like a dream or something like that, it seems like he was putting a smackdown on a CGI Anubis kind of creature. Kind of like one of the soldiers from like the Scorpion Kings or one of the mummy movies, right? I'm not quite sold on the CGI for that because it's hard to tell because you only saw it getting a beat down handed to it from a kind of a further angle away, but I don't know about that. I don't know. It'll be interesting. But one thing that they do kind of have to do with this show is they just want to make sure that they separate themselves as much as they can from the kind of narrative setup that they used for the beginning of the Iron Fist series, right? Where Iron Fist is presumed dead and he comes back and people think he's crazy and he spent those first couple of episodes like in a mental mental hospital or like the first few episodes or something like that they definitely want to try to avoid that because they just want to stay away from that whole stigma of the iron fist show as much as they possibly could but that's how i would have thought that they would have kind of rolled into this but it seems like they're just kind of going to go with the aspect of stephen grant kind of stumbles upon his other personalities as alternates if you will, and he doesn't know what to make of it. And then it's cool that in the trailer, they even show his reflection. Like you see that kind of multiple things of reflection he keeps moving. There's different shades of that reflection that are kind of still there. They're kind of existing independently, which is very, very interesting. I believe the showrunner for this, I believe is, might be wrong about this. And I'm not gonna pull up my phone because we're doing this in one take. Jeremy Slater, who worked on the exorcist tv show right pretty sure let's just say groovy's right because i'm usually in <laughs> about this kind of thing anyway but yeah so maybe we will get some horror overtones in this show i'm really interested i think that this show is going to be good and luckily we only have to wait a few more weeks what did it say march I didn't see whether it was March 13th, March 30th, sometime in March. And we're already towards the end of January. Hell, this video might even be out in February for all I know. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you guys thought of this trailer. Did this pick your interest for this new Disney series? Or do you think that you're gonna pass up on Marvel's white suited Batman? Let me know in the comments section. And also let me know what you guys think of the new video setup because we actually switched over to a new camera this year. We're gonna be changing things around a little bit and hopefully all the new videos this year should be shot on a DSLR with a little bit better video quality so you guys can enjoy this beautiful face of mine. But until next time, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure you stay safe, make sure you stay scared and make sure that you stay groovy. Oh yeah. We outie people. See you next time.